Good day everyone. This is Teacher Riza. Our topic to be discussed today is representing logarithmic function through graphs, table of values, and equation, and also finding the domain and range of a logarithmic function. With learning competency, the learner is able to represent a logarithmic function through its table of values, crop, and equation. And find the domain and range of a logarithmic function. Let us review the exponential function in the form of y is equal to b raised to x, interchanging x and y, we have x is equal to b raised to y. Let us express this exponential function into logarithmic function, and that is log of x to the base of b is equal to y, or that is y is equal to log of x to the base of b. So from here, we can say that the exponential function is the inverse function of logarithmic function. That is, if you have y is equal to 2 raised to x, interchanging x and y, that is x is equal to 2 raised to y, and in logarithm, that is y is equal to log of x to the base of 2. Let us review also how to represent the exponential function into table of values. In our previous lesson, the table of values of y is equal to 2 raised to x is this one. Now, let's try to make a table of values for our logarithmic function y is equal to log of x to the base of 2. Since the exponential function is the inverse function of exponent of logarithmic function. So therefore, the values of x and y for logarithm interchange. So the value of x for exponential will be the value of y for logarithmic function. And the value of y for the exponential function will be the value of x for the logarithmic function. So the values of x and y interchange. Let's try to graph these two table of values. So this is the graph of y is equal to 2 raised to x, which is the blue graph. Then we have the red graph is y is equal to log of x to the base of 2. So you can observe that the two graphs are mirror images of each other. So y is equal to 2 raised to x and y is equal to log of x to the base of 2 are inverses of each other. Their graphs are reflection of each other on the line y is equal to x. So we have the properties of the graph of a logarithmic function. The first one is the domain is the set of all positive numbers or x is an element of real number such that x is greater than 0. Then we have the second property of logarithmic function. The range is the set of all positive real numbers or y is the set of element of real number. For example, sketch the graph and determine the domain and range of y is equal to 2 log of x to the base of 2. So from the table of y is equal to log of x to the base of 2, since we're going to make a table of for y is equal to 2 log of x to the base of 2, that means we're going to multiply 2 from log of x to the base of 2. If x is 1 over 16, and the value of y in log of x to the base of 2 is negative 4. So therefore, we're going to multiply 2 for 2 log of x to the base of 2. 
So that will be now equal to negative 8. Then for x is equal to 1 8, if in log of x to the base of 2, that's negative 3 multiplying by 2. So that's equal to negative 6. For the next value, multiply negative 2 by 2. So we have negative 4. And next we have negative 1 times negative positive 2 is negative 2, then we have 0 times 2 is 0, then next, if 1 in y is equal to log of x to the base of 2 is 1, then therefore for y, y is equal to 2, log of x to the base of 2 is 2, then next, 2 times 2 is 4, and the next one is 3 times 2, so we have 6. So from here, you can say that the domain is an element of real number wherein x is greater than 0. And the range as y is an element of real number. And we have now the graph. For y is equal to 2 log of x to the base of 2, wherein the domain is an element of real number that is x is greater than 0. And the domain is the set of all positive numbers or that is y is an element of real numbers. And you can also observe that from y is equal to log of x to the base of 2, the graph shifted two units upward at this point. Next, we're going now to make a table of values and sketch the graph and determine the domain and range of y is equal to log of x plus 1 to the base of 2. So we have here the table of values for y is equal to log of x plus 1 to the base of 2. That is from negative 3 to positive 3. Then we're going to find the value of x. Starting from negative 3, from the given logarithm, y is equal to log of x plus 1 to the base of 2. We're going to change this into exponential form, which is 2 raised to y is equal to x plus 1. And substituting the value of y, which is negative 3, so we have now 2 raised to negative 3 is equal to x plus 1. Wherein, we can change 2 raised to negative 3 into 1 over 2 third is equal to x plus 1. And 1 over 2 third is equal to 1 8 is equal to x plus 1. So, transposing now or subtracting subtracting both sides by 1 so we have 1 8 minus 1 is equal to x or we can change negative 1 into negative 8 over 8 so that we can subtract that that's 1 8 less so 8 over 8 x now is equal to negative 7 over 8 so therefore if y log of x plus 1 to the base of 2 is negative 3 then x is equal to negative 7 over 8. Next, we have negative 2. So, substituting y equal to negative 2. So, we have 2 raised to negative 2 is equal to x plus 1. Wherein, we can write also 2 raised to negative 2 into 1 over 2 squared is equal to x plus 1. And 2 squared is equal to 4. So, we have 1 4 is equal to x plus 1 then subtracting both side by 1 so we have 1 fourth minus 1 is equal to x changing 1 into 4 over 4 so we have 1 fourth minus 4 over 4 is equal to x what in the value of x is equal to negative 3 fourth so we have now the table of values for y negative 2 x is equal to negative 3 fourth next negative y negative 1 so changing y or substituting y to negative 1, so we have 2 raised to negative 1 is equal to x plus 1, wherein 2 raised to negative 1 is also 1 over 2 or 1 half is equal to x plus 1. Then subtracting both sides by 1, so we have now 
x is equal to negative 1 half. So, if y is equal to negative 1, x is equal to negative 1 half. Next, we have 0. So, 2 raised to 0 is equal to x plus 1, wherein 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, x now is equal to 1 minus 1, or x is equal to 0. So, if y is equal to 0, x is also equal to 0. Next is positive 1. So, 2 raised to 1 is equal to x plus 1, which is also equal to 2. And x is equal to 2 minus 1, so therefore x is equal to 1. And if y is equal to 2, so we have 2 raised to 2 is equal to x plus 1, wherein 2 squared is equal to 4, so we have now x is equal to 4 minus 1, so therefore x is equal to 3. For y is equal to 3, so we have 2 cubed is equal to x plus 1, 2 cubed is equal to 8, so therefore x now is equal to 8 minus 1, wherein x is equal to 7. So, completing now the table, so we have for 1 of y, we have x is 1. For y2, x is equal to 3. For y is equal to 3, x is equal to 7. So, we have now the table of values for y is equal to log of x plus 1 to the base of 2, wherein you can observe that the domain is from negative 7 over 8 to positive 7. So, therefore, that is x is greater than negative 1. So, the domain is, is a set of values for x wherein x is an element of real number and x is greater than negative 1. And for the values of y that is from negative number to positive number, so, therefore, the domain is an element of real numbers. Then we have here the graph. The domain is an element of real number wherein x is greater than negative 1. And the range is all real number. And you can obs also observe that if we're going to subtract 1 from the given function y is equal to log of x plus 1 to the base of 2, if we're going to subtract 3, the graph moves downward. Now, how to find the domain and range of logarithmic function if table of values and graph is not given, wherein we're going to base only from the given function? Remember that the definition of logarithmic function is from y is equal to log of x to the base of b b, x, and y should be positive. Then, the domain of logarithmic function is x is greater than 0, or that is from 0 to positive infinity. So, we have here the steps in finding the domain of logarithmic function. First, you're going to set up an inequality which is greater than 0. Second, solve for x. Third, write the domain in interval or set notation. Then to find for the range, the range of logarithmic function is always all real numbers or that is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Let's try. For example, number one, find the domain and range of y is equal to log of x plus 2 to the base of 2. Remember that the logarithmic function is x plus 2. So, first step, we're going to write an inequality that is x plus 2 is greater than 0. Then, second step, solve for x. So, that will be x is greater than negative 2. Then, after that, we're going now to set up a set notation or interval notation that is the domain is an element of real number wherein x is greater than negative 2. That is for set notation. And for interval notation, we can write that also into negative 2 to positive infinity. For the range, since the range is the set of all numbers, positive numbers, so we have set of all real numbers, so the range now is 
y is element of real number. That is for set notation. And for interval notation, that is negative infinity to positive infinity. Second example, find the domain and range of y is equal to log of 2x minus 3 to the base of 4. So again, the logarithmic function is in 2x minus 3. So we're going to make an inequality for 2x minus 3 that is 2x minus 3 is greater than 0. Then solving for x, so we have now 2x is greater than 3. So therefore, x now is equal to 3 over 2 or 1.5. So the domain now is, it's an element of real number wherein x is greater than 1.5 in set notation. In interval notation, that is 1.5 to positive infinity. And the range is an element of real number for set notation. And for interval notation, we have negative infinity to positive infinity. For your activity, one, you're going to construct a table of values for each of the following function and sketch the graph. That is number one is log of x to the base of 3. For number two, y is equal to log of x to the base of 5. For activity 2, find the domain and range of the following logarithmic function. That is y of log of x minus 3 to the base of 1 half. And number 2 is y of x minus 1 plus 3 to the base of 5. And for your activity 3, you're going to match each graph to its equation by applying the transformation involving logarithmic function. That is for number 1 to 5, then you're going to match the given logarithmic function to the table or the, the graph on the right side. So that's all for our topic for today, which is graphing logarithmic function. I hope that you understand our lesson. Again, this is Teacher Riza always saying stay home and stay safe. Thank you for watching and listening. So again, don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And that's all. Have a nice day. Thank you again.